Kenya is expected to import a total of 10 million bags of maize to meet a shortfall in supplies occasioned by drought and poor harvests. The government, however, says it is facing difficulties in procuring adequate grain supplies since up to 90% of maize selling on the international market is genetically modified, meaning that importers have to pay more to acquire non-GMO maize. We've had to pay a high premium uh, to get the non-GMO maize, but that's what the price we've had to pay as a country. Ruto says that in the long run the country will have no option but to adopt the use of genetic technology to meet its food requirements. We have to progressively move towards um, better use of research, better use of technology, better use of scientific knowledge to solve our perennial problems of uh, food insecurity. So far, Ruto says no genetically modified food will be imported into the country until the relevant legislation is passed in parliament. Until we are agreed as a country that we can have GMO, we will not have GMO. Until we develop our own local um, varieties using our own local expertise. Ruto was speaking when he inaugurated a new board of directors for the Kenya Plant Health Inspectorate Services, KEFIS. The 10-man team will be chaired by seasoned politician Professor Julia Ojiambo. Henry Gedaiga, Citizen Business.